good evening, ghouls and ghosts. What's up? WarioWare, it's back online. Okay, uh, they got this Dojin store from Dojin Soft. They got all these uh, games you can play them in browser. Uh, what, what do we got here? Frost Physics with an F. Oh man, I can touch thing. And I'm, I'm playing WarioWare in a browser. It's from WarioWare DIY. And if you're an old person, you know about this game. It's from the old days of the, the DS. Uh, you can make your own games on it. You can make your own music on it. You can make your own comics on it. It's a one-stop shop. And today, you can still upload all that stuff over to this Dojinsoft site. So head over to DIY.TVC-16.Science. Rolls right off the tongue. And you head over there. They got their all these games. They got other games. You can sort by name or recent. Um, you can hit this little thing in the bottom right here. And then, boom, you're, you're, you're playing WarioWare and you're very confused. You're very confused. Um, the wizard? No. Okay, it's the other wizard. And you can lose just like in real Mario. Or like Wario. Not Mario. Just like real Wario. See? Got none of my things left. And I'm out. So, cool site. You can play all this in browser. Each one of the games has like a little sharing link too. So you can just like copy and paste that into your Discord or whatever you're, you're using. Um, you can hit this uh, download button right here. You can download the Mio file, which is the file format for the comics, for the records, for the games. You can do that individually, or you hit this add to cart button. You're gonna add these two to the cart. And if we take a look at the cart over here, it's got both games. And we can go up to 90 if you have a blank file. And there's gonna be two types of files out there. So uh, emulators usually generate a 16 megabyte file, but then there's also a 32 megabyte version that usually gets generated on like an R4. And you can also find downloads of it. Uh, and then sometimes if you go and you rename this 32 megabyte file um, and run it in like Melon DS, which is an emulator, it shrinks it down to 16 megabytes. Not a big deal most of the time, just something to, to keep in mind here. So there's also an option where you can use Reconnect24 to send this over to your Wii for like WarioWare Showcase. Um, in WarioWare DIY Showcase, you can just like add them to your DS or play them on the, the big screen there. That sends it to you by mail. But what I like to do there's a save import button. You go and select the file, and then you're gonna select that blank save I have. Uh, I just have one created. There's like just the name, the game's just started. It's 16 megabytes. I'm gonna hit checkout. It's gonna try to add both of these files over to a new file based on the file I fed it. And that's um, gonna be one that we can use on our flashcard or directly in like an emulator. So it's gonna do this Dojin Soft. Uh, where is where is that? It's somewhere over here. It's somewhere. Oh there it is. Okay. Dojin Soft hyphen imported dot bin. And so if we rename this to like you know like Wario dot save or I'll do wario2.save then what I'm going to need is a ROM that has the same name of it as it so if I copy this uh, this wario right here to a new file and name that wario2.nds so I have the wario2.sav and a wario2 Dot NDS and these are going to link to each other on either a flashcard or in your emulator and 
there you go. You know, you can add up to like 90 games. You can have like a little mixtape for people. Uh, that way, they don't have to interact with the site directly unless they're cool, you know. Unless they're cool, then you send them the site. But there's very, very risque things on the site. So they don't, they don't say that lightly. It's, uh, if you want a family friendly version, just, I don't know, if there's a Docker image, you can host your own. Um, there's also tools here that we can use to extract the .mio files, .mio, .mio uh, files from your uh, your save file, so you can just upload them right over to the um, the Dogen stop, soft store. So there's like a little upload thing. You can do it from your Wii. They've got other options on here too. It's it's pretty easy, honestly. So. There's WarioWare DIY Editor. This one's gonna be for your 32 megabyte saves. It also has the option, if you wanna import a .mio, that's like a song file, you can export that as a MIDI. So, you know, if you're looking to kinda of up your MIDI collection, you know, maybe check out some of these songs here. Start playing them in the browser. Hit the little download button. And then you can open up the tool and just convert it right to a MIDI. Um, there's also Crygore tool, uh, which this is sort of like that, but for 16 megabyte saves, you can extract, you can inject, either way, add MIOs, take MIOs out of a save file. Um, only thing you can't do is like export to .midi. And if you're like a MIDI guy, then you know you might be going in between the both, both the tools because it's a good amount of midis on that site it's like 40k or something like that they're not midis but they can be they can be turned into midis then we got a little comics on here and i was going to record earlier and i brought this up in my screen shrek learns about dragusi and i i just had to clear my cache after looking at that i don't i don't want that on my computer <laughs> It was recording, I was like, okay, it's time to stop recording. Um, comics, music, games, you can make all of these on your, your thing, import them into this, and then, you know, you get the shareable link, you can just share it to people on Discord, and that's about it, honestly. I would say the best way to play is still in browser. And look, they got a, they got a mugus, or a mogus. I think that's how you're supposed to say it. Amogus? Is that the is that the meme version of the name? You can hit this uh, fancy game thing, hit play, and it's just like you're playing WarioWare for real. It's kind of weird. And I I I don't I don't know about some of this sus. I'll think I got that one. Got the sound turned off here too. No accident. Oh no, I cut off my finger. So yeah, so it's a great site. Start downloading stuff from it. Uh, they are not gonna do away with any of the 18 plus stuff. This, you know, it's part of the, the culture, I guess. But also, if you wanted to, there's like a full one gigabyte backup of all these .mio files. And you could just like, download that and just have a backup if you wanted to that's about it go go play the game you should be playing it it's it's kino kino means really fun